step four in mastering the bent over barbell row. Uh, we've we've talked about the RDL already, and we've talked about some other stuff, but I'm not going to spend too much time on that. What I want is to um, kind of elucidate a few more details about the RDL. So when you're learning the RDL, if you watch those other videos, you already know. So this is review, right? Um, the idea is I want to lead with the hips and the upper body just kind of follows and straightens out. Okay. My feet stay flat on the ground and I just kind of bring my butt forward and all of a sudden I'm standing up. The, that's where I want the torque to come from. And it's easier if I isolate that torque there at the hip with an RDL than if I'm trying to hold this RDL and then, you know, <laughs> learn how to do this rowing motion that maybe I haven't followed Lance's advice and I haven't mastered a seated rowing variation, right? So I'm trying to make this as easy for you as possible. When I do the row, the torque changes at my hips. And so as I initiate this, this row, I have to put more force into the bar to bring the bar up. It takes more force to bring the bar up than it does to let it lower towards the ground. Hopefully that intuitively makes sense, but that force has to come from somewhere. And your only interaction with the earth is your feet on the ground. So you need to know how to do that RDL. You need to know how to initiate with the hips if you're going to get that, you know, and you know, it's not about standing up, but if you're going to get the torque into the barbell and not into your low back, you need to be able to initiate with the hips ever so slightly. And I'm doing it right now. And it's again, it's ever so slightly. It's just like this. Every rep, I'm here at the top and then stretch at the bottom. Here at the top, stretch at the bottom. <clears throat> that allows me to keep the tension on the glute, on the hamstring, on those giant hip muscles, instead of relying on tiny little spinal erector muscles. Those are not where I wanna be placing the emphasis of this lift. Those are not what I want to be driving the motion. I want to drive this motion with the hips. <clears throat> so you have to think about when I'm starting my row, I need the wave to start from the ground and then come up all the way through my torso and then into my hands, okay? So I push my feet in the ground hard, I slightly drive the hips forward, and then I can like a, you know, like a wave of water, I can start to transmit that. I can get that force to get all the way to the bar and then I can start to row the bar up to my chest, okay? So step number four in mastering your bent over row is learn how to drive with the hips. <clears throat>